Hi everyone, I'm Kat from City of Edinburgh Gymnastics Club. We put together some sessions for you that go over some of the basics that we use in gymnastics. As always, safety first. Please only try what you feel able to do. Make sure you have plenty of space around you and a drink nearby. We hope you have lots of fun trying out the skills and challenges that we've set for you. Remember, if you need more time on any of the exercises, you can pause and rewind. Helping out today, we have Neve and Lilla. The girls are going to tell you what they love about gymnastics. I love gymnastics because it's a great way to stay active while having fun with your friends. I love gymnastics because I love all the challenges and learning new skills. Here is a clip of them in training. Okay, ready, Lilla? Three, two, one, go. Come on, Lilla. See how many you can get in 30 seconds. See if you can beat Lilla at home. Come on, keep going. 10 seconds left. Stop everyone. Okay, now we're going to see how many Lilla managed to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, well done. So now we're going to make the game a little bit harder. First of all, you need to put all your items back into one bucket. And then we're going to hop to the bucket, collect your item, and then skip back. Again, you've got 30 seconds. Get ready, everybody. See if you can beat Lilla. Three, two, one, go. See how fast you can go and see if you can beat Lilla. Good job. Keep going. Hopping on different legs. Make sure you swap legs. Oh, you got three seconds to go. Three, two, one, and stop. you're feeling a bit warmer now we're going to do a quick stretch so can we all sit on the floor and can you reach for your toes and try and pull your heels off the floor okay we're going to move on and try some heel pops Now we're going to try some pike sweeps. Sit up nice and tall and you want to reach really far past your feet and try to get your tummy to your knees. And can we hold it down now? Okay, into straddle. Right leg and try to get your tummy and your head to your legs. See if you can reach 
And other side. Can we try Japan again? Going down the middle. See how far you can reach your hands forward and try to get your hard button on the ground. Just to begin with, you can try and just see if you can get your elbows on the floor. Can you show them just your elbows on the floor? See if you can get to that position first. Okay, so we're going to do some stretches from last week. Squashed frog again. So stretching your inner thighs. For this exercise, you want to see if you can get your hips back down to the ground. We're going to try our split stretches again, so up to high knees. Flexor stretch first. So you want to push your hips forward so you can just feel it down your left leg. And then next one, stretching your quad. Right to your bum and make sure you can still feel it down your hips. And then the next one. So flex your front foot. So just make sure your front leg is straight and reach as far as you can. Okay, into lunge. And now can you show how a beginner would get into splits? So up on high knee, front leg straight. One hand at either side of their leg. Yeah, that's how you start. And then you just slowly slide your front foot forwards, keeping your knee on the floor at the back. So if you can only get to where knee is just now, that's fine. Just go as far as you can. Okay, can we try the other leg now? So back onto high knees. Small step. Make sure you're pushing your hips forward so you can feel it down your leg again. And then your quad stretch again, so stretching the front part of your thigh. String. So straighten your front leg and flex your feet to touch your toes to the ceiling and reach as far over your front leg as you can. Yeah, again, just go as far as you can. The most important thing is to keep that front leg straight. And into your lunge. Higher splits again on this leg. So back up to high knee, front leg straight, one hand's at either side of your leg. Keep your knee glued to the floor at the back. Okay, we're gonna try our bridges again. So do you remember you start lining your pencil? Do you want to come in front of knee, Lilla? go sideways that's it so long pencil remember your shapes from last week and then you tuck your hands in and feet in and push up see if you can get your arms nice and straight and then see if you can push your legs straight and 
Exhale, okay, come down again and you're gonna hold your knees and rock back and forwards. And then we're gonna try one more and see if you can hold it for 10 seconds. So start on your pencil again. On you go, give it your best shot. And then hug your knees again, rocking a little ball. Good. So now we are going to do a conditioning exercise. So for this exercise, if you have a partner, your partner will come with you and sit down on the floor. You will then lie on your tummy. Your partner will hold your feet and you're going to clasp your hands behind your head. You're going to then try and lift up to use your back muscles. If you don't have a partner, you can pick your feet under something that will move. Okay, so now we're going to try and do 10. Ready, everybody? Okay, so the first one we're going to try is the flamingo balance. So see if you can stand on one leg, lift your knee up and put your toe beside your knee. So we're going to see if you can hold it for 10 seconds. Good try. Okay, the next one at our best. So the girls will show you. But see if you can keep your body up and lift your leg at the back. Okay, can we try that again for 10 seconds? Yep. Nice. Okay, the next one is the frog balance. So you're going to crouch down like, like the girls are doing and you've got to bend your elbows and balance the, outs the inside of your knees on your elbows. Good job. Okay, next hold we're going to try is shoulder stand. So the girls will show you first. Push your toes up high and hands on your hips. And then can you see if you can hold that for 10 seconds as well? And squeeze your bottoms. Excellent. Okay, the next one is front support. We did this one last week, see if you can remember. So it's your shoulders on top of your hands and your bottoms down and then can we hold this for 10 girls and now the girls are going to show you back support so you want your fingers facing your toes and can we all try and hold it for 10 seconds Great, so we're going to try more advanced holds now. So, Neve and Lila are going to show you side support on your on their elbow. So see if you can push up to a nice straight line and you want to make sure your head's in line. Can you show them how it's not to be? And then head in line. That's it. Okay, so you can hold that for 10 seconds. Other side. That's it. And 
push up, push your hips up and hold. One, two. Let's try and balance. Good. Okay, next one's a little bit harder. So you the girls are gonna get a block, but you can use your sofa at home or a really sturdy chair. Put it that way a wee bit. That's it. Okay, so a tucked handstand. So I'll show you what to do. You're gonna put your knees on your sofa. And you've got to have your back, angry cat back rounded if you remember from last week and see if you can hold that shape. So see if you can hold it for 10 seconds. Well done. All right, pop the block away. Half levers. These are quite tricky. Just give it your best shot. So we're going to try a piped half lever first. So you've got to see if you can push the floor and lift your hips up. You keep your back nice and rounded. Can you hold it for 10 seconds? One, two, three, or just as long as you can at home. Good. And can we try it with our legs straddled? Just a small straddle. Press the floor. Good try. So if you can manage to get your hips off the ground, the next step is to get your hips and your feet off the ground. It's taken us a lot of practice and hard work. Good luck everybody, choose your balance. All right, we're ready. See if you can hold it for 30. And go. We'd love to see your attempts at home. You can tag us on Instagram or Twitter. Right, that's coming up for 15 seconds, girls. Oh, come on, Lilla. doing a better job at home. Three seconds, two, one, and well done. I hope you did better than me. I think I got to 15 seconds before it fell off my head. Okay, so now we're going to do our cool down. So first of all, you want to put one of your arms behind your head, grab your elbow, and see how far you can pull your elbow down. We're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm going to give your arm a shake. And then we're going to do the other arm. So grab your elbow and then pull it down. So when you're pulling, you kind of want to pull it across and down at the same time so you can feel the stretch. And then hold for 10 seconds. you're going to stand with a little straddle and you're going to try and reach as far down as you can so just go as far as you can and if you can only get to here that's okay just hold it and then you gradually want to go down and see if you can get your hands all the way to the floor and then hold for 10 seconds
So if you remember last week, we had a quiz question for you. Lila's going to provide the answer for you this week. The 2016 Olympics were held in Rio and Simone Biles took home the title. She's incredible. And we have another question for you this week. Can you name the two British gymnasts who won medals in Rio 2016 Summer Olympics? Here's a hint. One of them is female, one of them is male. Join us next time to find out the answer. We hope you've enjoyed our session today. Next session we will be working on rolling. You will need gloves, socks and a toilet roll again. We are City of Edinburgh Gymnastics Club and we run classes for all levels. Please get in touch if you're interested in joining our classes.